Well, welcome back. This is Tom Christie. This is the final session, session seven. We'll be sealing and priming the preening hen mallard today to finish up the series. I sanded the bottom with a belt sander so it's nice and flat. And one of the most pleasurable parts of carving is branding because to me it signifies, hey, we're done with this, this baby, it's finished. Last step is to seal the decoy, and I use deft, semi-gloss wood finish. For a bird like this, it's going on the mantle, it's not going out uh, in, as a hunting decoy in the water. I might use a little different sealer in that case, and then after that sealer, I give that three or four coats of DEF, let it dry between coats. After that, I've been using this 2X Rust-Oleum flat gray primer. Uh, it works for me, but there's a lot of options you can have for primer. I think it's important to prime the bird before you start painting, just to help seal things and help that acrylic paint bond to the sealer coat. So I'm going to get my mask on, do a little spray. Good morning everybody, it's Tom Christie back in the workshop. And I let this uh, preening hen mallard dry overnight. We put about three or four coats of um, deft semi-gloss finish on it to seal up the wood. And this morning, I want to go ahead and, and spray it with the primer. Before I do that, I'm going to use, I normally use a little bit of a kind of a Scotch-Brite material to smooth things out and just knock down if there's any really heavy sheen. Uh, I like to knock that down a little bit before I put the primer on. It just gives the uh, primer a little more surface to bite into and not such a glossy surface. And then uh, I'll be masking off the bottom of the decoy because I, I like to keep the bottom of my carvings natural wood so you can see the tupelo or whatever materials in you're using. I'll mount this painting handle so I have that to hang on to uh, during the spraying process of the primer. Okay, I've got the bottom of the decoy masked. By the way, um, I did get a question about what do I use for a painting handle. This is just an old electrical bracket from a junction box screwed to a wooden file handle um, that you can get in the hardware store. For me, it's a, it's a great way to to hang on to the decoy while I paint. So just a tip on that. So now I'm going to put my respirator on and we'll get this thing primed. Here's just a quick 360 of the primed carving. That paint is still wet so it's a little bit shiny at this point. And I don't see any indication of where the head attaches to the neck, and that's what we want. So this, this is a good stage just to do a gut check on, is it ready for painting? All right, that's a wrap on the preening hen mallard carving videos. We've taken a couple of blocks of Tupelo and transformed it into a nice preening hen mallard and uh, shown step-by-step step how to go about that. My goal again is to encourage people who think they may want to try carving to give it a try because it's a, there's a lot of enjoyment in carving. There's a great community in carving, and uh, it's just a it's a nice hobby to participate in. I'm also excited about the number of people that have subscribed to this YouTube channel. That's exciting to me that uh, I'm going to continue to add content, and this is a way virtually we can get together as a as a broad carving community online it doesn't take the place of being at a show and seeing people in person 
uh, and breaking bread together and having fun together, but at least it helps supplement that. And that's my goal. So if you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. That way you get any updated content that I put on the website. You get notification of that. And you can tune in and check that out. Until next time, great carving to all of you. And thanks for tuning in. Tom Christie signing out.